Welcome to Couch to 7.0. My name is Justin, and this is a level one glucose lowering workout. We're not gonna need any equipment at all besides our body weight for this one. Let's make sure that before we get started, you have checked and entered those blood glucose levels into the Glucosone app, and you're within those safe ranges to exercise. And without further ado, let's get ready to lower that A1C and have a kick butt workout. Welcome to Glucose Lowering Level 1. In this workout, we're going to focus on lower intensity exercises that specifically focus on lowering your blood sugar level. Without further ado, let's make sure that you have checked and entered that blood glucose level and let's get ready to jump right on into it. The first exercise we're going to start with is we're going to go into some light stretching. We're going to go into a nice hamstring stretch starting in three seconds. So I want you to just go down to your leg, slight bend in that knee. We're gonna go down and we're going to scoop at the toe and come right back up. I want you to take your time. Each stretch is going to be for a 30 second interval. And then we're gonna do four stretches for a total of two minutes and jump right into today's workout. I want you to bend down, scoop for that toe, feel a nice stretch in the back of that hamstring for three more seconds. Great job. All right, excellent. The next exercise or stretch that we're gonna jump into is gonna focus on those quads, okay? So we're gonna just simply kick our feet back, going for our glutes every time. So I just want you to get that nice stretch in, kicking those feet back, aiming for the glutes. All of these exercises that we're gonna be doing today in this 20 minute glucose lowering workout can also be done from a chair position. You can do these seated, you can do these standing. However you feel you wanna take the fight to diabetes, you can do this. We're gonna go for just 10 more seconds here, kicking those feet back, aiming for those glutes. You're doing a great job. We're gonna go for five, four, three, two, and rest. Excellent. So next, we're going to simply just go into a nice side to side, okay? So I just want you to step side to side with me here. This is an introductory workout, so whether you are starting exercise for the first time or the first time in 20 years, you have came to the right place. You can do all of these exercises from a couch, literally, or standing, okay? Like I said before, it is up to you. In just about five seconds, I want you to continue with this side to side, but now we're going to reach over to the left. Okay, here we go. And reach, step, reach. I want you to get a nice stretch in those obliques. Great work, step and reach. I want you to stay motivated, stay ready. It is so crucial and important to warm up our entire body before beginning any type of exercise. Nice work. We're gonna go for three, two, and rest. We're gonna continue that side to side. Don't stop moving. Take your time here, listen to your body, and always keep a smile on that face. We're gonna go back to that opposite side, continuing that step to step in three, two, one. So step and reach, step and reach. Great job, we're gonna do this last exercise for those 30 seconds, and then we're gonna jump right into it. I want you to step and reach. You're doing a great job. I am so proud of you that you are here and you are ready to begin this journey with me. Good, in five, four, three, two, and rest. Excellent work. Now it's time for the fun stuff. Today, we're gonna focus on 10 exercises for a total of two rounds. Each exercise is gonna be 40 seconds on, and then we're going to be resting for 20 seconds. Take a seat on that couch if you'd like, take a seat in that chair, or join me standing. We're going to start in 15 seconds, so I want you to get motivated, get amped up, and get ready to get in the glucose zone. 
We are starting in 10 seconds with our first exercise of the day, which is a shoulder press. So our feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. Hands are here. We're coming up and back down, up and down. Okay, I want those feet shoulder width apart. Like I said, I want you to drive those hands up, trying to touch those thumbs coming just to the tip. Good, nice work. I want big smiles on that face. We're already halfway there. Keep that up. We're gonna warm up our body nice and appropriately today, focusing on those deltoids right now. Specifically, we have 10 seconds to go. Up and down, good. Up and down for three, two, and rest. We're going right into that side to side today as our active recovery. If you happen to be in a couch or in a chair, you can go ahead and just march in place for me in between that 20 seconds. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go right back into our next exercise, which is arm circles. So I want your feet shoulder width apart again, arms are all the way out, and we're going into nice, high and tight arm circles. I want you to keep that core tight, keep that body stabilized. You're crushing this workout so far. Like I said before, this is an introductory workout. So whether or not you're starting exercise for the first time or you've been exercising for years, this is just enough to really get you warmed up and right back into it. You have 15 seconds to go. Keep those arm circles up. We're already feeling a nice little burning sensation in those deltoids. I'm loving every minute of it. You have five seconds, four, three, two, and one. We're going right back into that side to side. You're doing an amazing job. I'm using you as my motivation to continue to get healthier, get stronger, and lower that glucose, lower that A1C, okay? In five seconds, we're gonna jump back into a march in place. Shoulders or feet are shoulder width apart. You're just gonna step, step, step. Just a nice march in place. This is nothing over the top. If we're in that chair or seated position, you're just gonna drive your knees straight up, working and focusing on those hip flexors. Great work here, keep it up. Big smiles on the face. We're already halfway there. You have 20 seconds to go, come on. Great job and up, up, 10, keep it up, come on, here we go, good job, good job, five, four, three, two, and rest, let's go right back into that side to side, how good does it feel to take back control of your diabetes, just, just get started in the fight, you are doing such an amazing job, and I'm so proud of you already, we are almost 10 minutes into this workout, we're gonna go into some heel taps next. So all I want you to do, simply just tap, tap, good. Tap, these are doable from that chair-based position, okay? All you're gonna do is listen to your body, listen to your range of motion, and simply just tap those feet, okay? I'm, you're going for the heel. We're coming up on halfway already. I'm having a blast. We are cruising through this workout. You have. 12 seconds left with these heel taps. Nice. Good, we're gonna go for five, four, three, two, and right back into that active recovery. The next exercise that we're gonna jump into is simply calf raises, okay? Calf raises are one of my favorite exercises. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. I want your feet shoulder width apart again. Nice and simple, big smiles. We're starting in three, two, one. So simply, you're just gonna go up on your tippy toes as high as you can, feeling the flex and that tension in those calf muscles, okay? Now you're gonna get really familiar with a lot of these exercises throughout the Couch 7.0 series. I say this because these are some introductory exercises that we can virtually do anywhere. So whether you're at home, in the gym, in the office, Wherever you are, we can take the fight to diabetes and focus on lowering our blood sugar levels together. That is the name of the game. Five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna go right back into that side to side. The next exercise we're gonna jump into, continuing with that lower body, is those knee raises. 
starting in just about five seconds. Four, three, feet are shoulder width apart. I want you to drive those knees up and right back down. Now, some of these exercises are specifically focused on lowering your blood sugar levels due to the fact that we are keeping the heart rate relatively low while still utilizing some of the largest muscle groups in our body, specifically our legs. When we use our legs, we free up any excess sugar storage that we have, increasing our body sensitivity to insulin and ultimately lowering that blood sugar level, which results in a lower A1C. In three, two, and rest. You're going right back into that side to side. Great job. We have two more exercises to go to cap off this round, and then we're gonna repeat it one time through. I am so, so proud of you. I cannot stress that enough. In five seconds, we're gonna go into a standing Russian twist. So your hands are out. You're going to pivot to one side of your body. Pause in the middle, pivot to the opposite side, Pause again. Good, you're gonna feel that stretch right in your obliques. This is an amazing core exercise that keeps our heart rate low, focusing on lowering those blood sugar levels and is virtually doable anywhere. Pausing in the middle, bringing it right back. Again, nice work, let's stay motivated. Big smiles, you have 10 seconds to go. Pivot, pause in the middle, five, four, three, one more, two, and way to get that extra rep in there. Give yourself a pat on the back. I always want you to listen to your body throughout this entire Couch to 7.0 series and just stay motivated. I know that you can do it. You have to believe in yourself. We're gonna go ahead and in our last exercise, we're gonna simply have our feet shoulder width apart. You're going to step back and raise those hands. So you're just simply stepping back and raising those hands up. Like I said before, all of these exercises can be done in a chair or a couch, literally a couch. So you don't have to move anywhere. Just hit that play button and join me. If you are in a couch, all I want you to do is simply drive your hands straight up to the ceiling. You're coming right back down with me and we are resting in 10 seconds. Nice work. We're gonna rest in five. Four, three, two, great work. Let's go back to that side to side. Round one is in the books. We're gonna rinse and repeat that same exact 10 exercises starting in 10 seconds. We're gonna go right back to that shoulder press. I know that you can do this. Keep those feet shoulder width apart and let's jump right into it in three, two, up, down, good, up, down. These are some amazing exercises that you can really do anywhere. I'm not joking when I say that. You can do these in the kitchen. You can do these in your office, at work, in the gym, wherever you may be. We are focusing on getting stronger and living a healthier life with diabetes. And you have 15 seconds to go. We are focusing on those deltoids. Nice work. In seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. I want you to go right back into that side to side. The next exercise that we're gonna focus on, if you remember, is those arm circles, okay? Take your time, listen to your body. We're gonna come to a pause in about five seconds here. Your feet are shoulder width apart again. Here we go in three, two, one, great job. So if you are on a couch or you're in a chair-based position, all I want you to do is exactly what I'm doing right here. Just imagine that I'm seated, okay? Take your arms up, out to the side, and really focus on some high and tight, very, very concentrated arm circles here. We're already halfway there. Those arms are burning, we're sweating, but we are doing our body some due diligence here by getting in that exercise, putting in that work, 10 to go. Nice job. Keep smiling for five, four, three, two, and rest. Wow. Let's go right back into that side to side as our active recovery. 
The next exercise that we're jumping right into is that simple march in place. So if we are on a couch, we are on a chair, or you're here joining me standing, I just want you to go ahead, drive those knees up to where you feel comfortable and listen to your body, okay? We're encouraging you to work on those hip flexors, work on those legs, and ultimately keep those blood sugar levels a little bit lower for this workout. Or if you're a little bit elevated, our main objective is to drop those numbers and get you in your A1C right where you wanna be. We're just marching in place here, nice and easy, for the remaining 10 seconds that we have. Great work, continue to march. Good, five, four, three, two, and rest. We're gonna jump right back into that active recovery, which as you know by now is a side to side. If you're in that chair-based position, like I said before, you're just going to march in place again for that 20 seconds. The next exercise in five seconds are heel taps. Your feet are shoulder width apart. You're starting in two, one, here we go. Tap and back, tap and back. Nice work, let's stay motivated. We only have a couple exercises to go and you can cross this one off your list. Come on, let's go, stay motivated. Tap, halfway and tap. Good job, big smiles. Let's go, we got 15. Good, in 10. Keep breathing, okay? You wanna stay focused on your breathing here throughout that 40 seconds. Don't get too winded. Three, two, and one. We're gonna go right back to that side to side. If any of these exercises are too challenging, go ahead and just hit that pause button or I'm gonna provide you with these easy and simple modifications throughout this entire series that you can stay motivated, you can get fit, and you can have fun. The next exercise, those feet are shoulder width apart and we're gonna go right into those calf raises, up onto those tippy toes, exhaling at the top, inhaling at the bottom, up and down flexing on those calves. Like I said, this is an amazing exercise, specifically focusing on glucose lowering because we are utilizing the largest muscle groups in our body while ultimately keeping that heart rate relatively low. You have just about 10 seconds left. You're doing an amazing job in five, four, three, two, and Rest, excellent work. We're gonna go right back to that side to side. In just about 15 seconds, we're gonna go right back into those knee raises and then we only have two exercises remaining. Let's keep that side to side for the remainder of that five seconds. Get ready for those knee raises in three, two, one. Here we go. Some of these exercises have actually helped me persevere and really reach my diabetes and fitness goals due to the fact that they keep my blood sugars in check. So the more I exercise and the more I stay fit, ultimately the less insulin that I'm gonna need and the better my blood sugars are. So specifically, you wanna exercise whenever you can find the time and at the very least, we just want to move to really increase your body's sensitivity to insulin and ultimately drop those blood sugar numbers. We're going for five, four, three, two, and rest. Amazing job, I am so proud of you. We only have two exercises to go. We're gonna go back into those standing Russian twists in 10 seconds. So, we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart yet again. Hands are gonna go up and out, and we're gonna pivot, pause in the middle, and then pivot to the opposite side. I want you to go to where you feel a slight twist in those obliques. If you're in that chair-based position or in the couch, you're just simply reaching to the opposite side, okay? You're doing an amazing job. We only have one exercise left. It really is true what they say, time flies when you're having fun, and I know we are. You have just about 10 seconds to go. Let's do this thing, come on. Nice work, five, four, three, two, and rest. Great work, we're gonna go back to that side to side for the remainder 
15 seconds to go. And then we're finishing with a simple reverse lunge or a step back with those arms up. Starting in four, three, two. So I want you to step back, arms are up. Back again, nice work. Back and back, good job. Come on, this is our last exercise of this glucose lowering level one workout. Big smiles on that face because you only have 20 seconds to go and you have already started to take the fight to your diabetes. Come on, how easy was this? You crushed this. Think of how great of a job you did. Big smiles for that last five, four, three, two, one more in the tank and you are done. I am so proud of you for completing this glucose lowering level one exercise in the couch to 7.0 series. And I can't wait to see you for the next one to come up. Woo!